To illustrate the difference between ELT and ETL, let's use the analogy of a pizza delivery restaurant and a fictitious pizza delivery food truck. The former, like any pizza chain, is a brick and mortar establishment that makes pizza and can optionally deliver to a home or business. The latter, which probably doesn't really exist, makes the pizza in a food truck in transit, delivering to the door directly from the truck. To better define our analogy, the letters ELT stand for E, extract ingredients from the suppliers, L, load the kitchen or truck pantry with the ingredients, and T, transform ingredients into pizza. Now that we've set the stage, let's start with our brick and mortar ELT example. In this scenario, the extract and load simply represent stocking the kitchen pantry. Flour, sauce, cheese, and other ingredients are moved from a supplier into the restaurant. No transformations are needed. This is just the basic movement of cans, boxes, and bags. Next, the chef transforms these basic ingredients into a delicious pizza, and finally placed on the order up counter. As a side note, a smart listener may say, wait, what about the delivery? Fair point. Whether it is to the table in the next room or to the house a few miles away, an additional EL is needed to transport the hot pizza. So technically, you can call this ELTEL, with an emphasis on making the pizza. Now for our make it in transit food truck, or ETL example, ingredients are extracted from the truck pantry, transformed into the same delicious pizza, and then loaded into a delivery box. Here again, someone may say that the truck pantry must first be loaded, and there is probably a walk to the customer's door. So perhaps this is really E-L, E-T-L, E-L. So what is the real difference between the restaurant kitchen representing E-L-T and truck kitchen representing E-T-L? In a perfectly static world, both models will work, but static is a concept unheard of in data warehousing. So what might change in our story above? A recipe change. New ingredients may need to be introduced for a trendy pizza. For a standard restaurant, this basically represents an order from perhaps a new supplier. For a food truck, this may represent a new stop in the truck's supply route, which could take the truck off course, as well as exceed the truck's pantry capacity. An equipment change. Consider adding a wood-fired pizza. This is probably in reach for most brick-and-mortar restaurants and should not require closing the business for remodeling. However, the food truck will certainly need to be retrofitted, if not totally replaced, representing financial stress on the business. A surge in business. Most restaurants, with enough cooks, servers, seating, and a well-stocked pantry, can handle, if not welcome, a surge in paying customers. Contrast this to the food truck, which has production limitations based on mobile space and traffic issues. Someone may ask at this point, does this ELT ETL analogy have application for cloud computing? The answer is absolutely. Cloud platforms provide instant scalability up or down for transformations also called compute, which in our example is like rapidly multiplying the number of chefs, ovens, and ultimately pizzas in our ELT based restaurant. This is a beautiful thing where you pay for only what you need, but what about our mythical ETL pizza truck? Now we have a dilemma since the cloud does not provide the same scalability when the transformations or pizzas are sandwiched in the pipeline or truck. You could buy extra trucks, but that could take weeks and worse, you'll continue to pay for the trucks even when not needed. In short, cloud ETL results in either money down the drain or accepting the world of slow transformations. As you can see, an ELT paradigm strategically separates the EL data movement with T data transformation to simplify inevitable change requests. And better yet, for cloud deployments, transformations can leverage almost limitless scalability, taking jobs from hours to minutes. Conversely, an ETL approach tends to box you into the transport pipeline, limiting versatility and usually promoting vendor lock. An ELT solution should provide both a superior time to market as well as improved manageability of your data integration processes. Visit bitracks.com to find out more.